Leo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we're got a weekly reading for you for the 16th to the 22nd of May 2022. Um, no particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and a potential outcome. And at the end uh, there'll be an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive in deeper with a nine card tarot spread as well as some oracles. Uh, you can watch this for your uh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus or if any of those planets are currently transiting your fifth house. Um, this reading is for you, or potentially for you. Uh, cross watchers, you are welcome. Um, thank you once again for all the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It's the easiest way to support the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, it helps with the algorithms, etc., etc. So don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, the description box has the link to my website where private reads can be booked. Okay. So, in your pre-shuffle, it was, it's quite sad really, it was, it's, I never really paid attention to the words as much, it was um, uh, Elastic Heart by Sia, and I kind of feel like, um, it's good in a sense, um, you, you're showing major courage, but I almost feel like you've had a lot of abusive, narcissistic relationships, um, but the beauty of it is, you're refusing to be beaten by them. Uh, but unfortunately, when you have, for some of you, maybe you've grown up with um, this narcissistic parents, possibly, you've, you automatically draw in what you're familiar with. So you're drawing in the same type of things. But I kind of feel like you're breaking the cycle now. Um, and especially this grit determination not to be beaten, I think it's uh, that's wonderful. But yeah, just the, um, the concept of just bringing in the same sort of people every time. And it's... Um, It's, it's tough, very, very tough. Um, so we'll see. Let's see what comes up. You are the strength card. You know, grit, determination, and the strength to uh, power yourself through these things. Okay, Leo, what's going on? I'm going to do three more. of swords okay knight of swords can be somebody um, coming in with some sort of truth but there's also like a, a reckless abandonment about this uh, let's see what's going on uh, kind of all, I almost feel like the five of swords is going to follow this or at least be uh, around somewhere I'm not too aware of advice Potential outcome, wow. Okay, the Queen of Discs, the Four of Cups, there's the strength with the High Priestess. Okay. you got a very strong psych, um, intuitive presence. Um, this could be you, it could be somebody around you. Uh, it could be a very grounded nature around you with the Queen of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be. I think it's just you connecting with Mother Earth. Um, uh, for some of you, you might not be getting out enough to connect to Mother Earth, so, you know, do bear that in mind. But yeah, I'm, literally I'm hearing the line, um, another one by the dust, I mean, I'm, and I'm not taking that from uh, Queen, um, literally the elastic heart. Um, so there could have been an ending here, this, this could be potentially, what, third or fourth uh, relationship that's ended like this. Um, it could be because of something um, like I said, so growing up with narcissism or at least you've attracted them um, so we've got the Knight of Swords, what we're aware of is the Two of Swords um, there's some sort of blockage here this could be um, the High Priestess who you are strongly linked with asking you to be patient uh, about things, there's a bigger picture coming. Someone's coming in with a truth that's kind of going to shake things up a bit. You've, Despite my shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and shuffling, you've got the same outcome as cancer that I've just done this morning. So I kind of feel like there's big changes coming. What we're not aware of is the world. Um, 
this could be something here with unfinished business with somebody from the um, it could be from the past it doesn't have to be um, but there's an unfinished business here I almost feel like this is that cycle that needs breaking which you, you're desperate to do I think the universe is on board with you now um, in the recent past we have the page of discs the page of pentacles this could be here um, an opportunity in the past that possibly you've not willing to take because of somebody else so the, the kind of image I'm getting here is having an opportunity to branch out maybe a job that's miles away but there's something here that's keeping you stuck it could be somebody that you're dealing with there's a need to break free from this I almost feel like if you don't take advantage of this page of discs you're just going to repeat a cycle again I think you'll be in the exact same position you were you are right now in however many years time I've got seven in my head um, but there's a decision that needs to be coming up so the page of discs can be an opportunity it can be somebody, could be this queen of discs here that says, you know what, I'm impressed with you, uh, I like your work, I like your um, creativity, I want to um, I want to invest in you, it's something like that. I kind of think the universe wants you to take it. Your advice is judgment. Judgment is, is making a decision. It's also kind of rising above, it's kind of following your path. It's the awakening. Uh, and the outcome is the tower. This could be something that took place in 2016 or maybe this relationship happened in 2016 if somebody is coming back in or something happened in 2016 anyway I'm just looking at judgment in the tower um, don't let anybody hold you back Leo I almost feel like somebody really wants to offer you something very very substantial here and for some reason you're in two minds to break free from it. The tower with the world here, I feel like you're ending a cycle here. This could be making a decision to end an, an abusive relationship. Um, I'm getting another song, um, the Selena Gomez, the heart wants what it wants. It's like knowing that somebody's not good for you, but still sticking around. I almost feel like this is that point now. We're at this conjuncture where you, you've gone through enough patterns with narcissistic people, narcissistic behaviours, bullies. I'm going to see where the Five of Swords is because that's what I saw when I saw the you know, Knight of Swords. I saw a bully. Let's see where the Five of Swords is. Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This could be somebody that on the surface presents themselves as somebody very, very caring. Um, in reality, not so much. Yeah. This is something that continually comes around with this Wheel of Fortune. This is something that never changes. Um, perhaps you're getting wind to that. Perhaps there's a realisation here that despite your best efforts, despite giving people chance after chance after chance they're not going to change and you have an opportunity here I almost feel like if this hasn't happened yet because this is in the recent past but for some of you it might not have happened yet I almost feel like this page of pentacles is like a get out clause this is a you know, perfect opportunity here to get away from whatever environment this is the tower can be it can be as traumatic as we as we want it to allow, um, but I kind of feel like in this instance, this tower is essential. Whatever change this is bringing, needed to happen. So remain grounded. Um, drink more water, some of you. Um, I'm looking at the four of cups here as like um, probably not drinking enough water with a 
the three cups behind. Um, or at least if, if you are having alcohol, not having enough water in between. Um, it's like um, water is really, really important. It's just, it was a standout for me when I was, um, I was shuffling. Um, and like, especially with um, the lightning of the uh, tower here. So like, it's, it's quite so important sometimes to go out in the rain. Rain's very cleansing. Water is is incredible, and like uh, with this tower, it's like a thunderstorm. Um, have you noticed how after a thunderstorm, the air is really sort of it's clear. A um, little bit of science for you now. Um, so the air's really clear, and it's it's because it's filled with uh, like negative ions, and um, so when you breathe these in, they go into your bloodstream, and what that does is um, starts a biochemical reaction, which um, kind of um, boost your levels of your feel good, you know, your serotonin, so your feel good hormones. Um, and that's the amazing benefits of water we are, you know, in today's day and age we're probably not as much, but we should be at least 75 to 80 percent water, um, probably closer to 65 these days, but, you know, the water has an incredible power on us, uh, hence why the moon is so um, um, powerful with tides and how it can affect us. Um, water's physical and energetic healing is beyond measure, it's incredible. Um, so definitely if there's ever, if you're in an area where you get plenty of thunderstorms, get outside afterwards, embrace the rain, embrace the um, um, the feeling afterwards, the, the clear air, the, um, again, like this, just get it into your bloodstream and get the uh, feel good hormones going. So, big change is coming, providing you make that decision to do it, Leo. Um, you're very, very hesitant, I would say. Um, obviously there's some sort of hook on this person. This could be, you know, the loving the wrong type of person. Um, you know, deep down you know it. Your friends have told you. Um, but only you can make that decision. So whatever this is, um, and this doesn't have to be a love relationship by the way, this could be um, just people you deal with, friends, family, um, uh, work colleagues, there's, there's something about here of continuously bringing these relationships into yourself. Uh, it's all entanglement, it's all um, what we're grown up used to, so we emit the frequency of what we're familiar with and what we get back is exactly the same. And it's an ongoing cycle until you allow the tower to destroy. Okay, Leo. Obviously your call, I'll never tell you what to do. Um, but in this instance, the um, the universe is certainly saying, you know, time for a decision. Okay, in your extended, we're going to completely focus on you. Look at the positives that are coming in, negatives that we need to watch out for, and um, your next steps. Um, mind, body, soul, we'll look at the full picture. Okay? You could be dealing with or having your chart. We have Saturn with Capricorn energy there. We have Libra and Scorpio with Judgment. We have Scorpio and Aries because of Mars in the Tower. Um, what else have we got? Strength. This is your sign, Leo. High Priestess. We have the um, Cancer and Pisces. I went blank there. But we've got discs, we've got cups, we've got swords. No wands, where's all the passion at the moment? There was no wands uh, in Cancer's either. Oh, was there? Yes, there was. Yesterday there was no wands in somebody. I'm blabbering, sorry. Okay, if you can join me next, any fantastic. If not, Leo, look after yourselves. Um, this is a good tower, okay? Alright, take care. Bye bye.